Almost everyone has heard of the Apple TV box, but no one's really heard of Google TV, and if you've clicked on this video, you want to know what that is. And no, it's not the same as Apple TV. Physically, what is Google TV? Well, it's not an app, it's not a box, it's a complete software package. And there are three ways of getting it. Number one being the Google Chromecast. Now, the Google Chromecast is a tiny little device you can plug into the back of your TV, into an HDMI port, which will then allow you to use a whole new software within your TV and turn it into a smart TV if it isn't. Speaking of smart TVs, another way of getting it is having a smart TV with Google TV built in, as its operating system. Lastly, if you don't even have a TV, you just have your phone, you can download the Google TV app on Android and iPhone. So what does Google TV actually do? Well, it basically combines all these different streaming services and puts them into one place. In other words, you have all your different shows from Netflix, Prime, Disney+, and even Apple TV+, in the same place so you don't have to swap between the different platforms. For example, if you ask, show me Batman movies, It'll show you movies from across all the different platforms like Netflix and Amazon, for example, in that one place within Google TV. That's not it though. Google TV has so many other features and I've combined the top five with five being pretty good and number one being the best features on Google TV. Number five is being able to turn your TV into a home system. Google already makes some other home system devices and this is basically another way of them putting it in. So anything, if you have like your cameras outside or you have a thermostat in the house, you can view that all on your TV, just as if it's a home tablet. Number four is ecosystem features. If you're like me, scrolling to your TV on Netflix to find your next movie or show to watch is tedious and tiresome. So sometimes I just look at my phone on my laptop and being able to then add something on the list on your phone or laptop and have it appear on your Google TV is just great. Number three is casting. This is the ability to use your phone to then cast something to the TV, just like screen mirroring with Apple. Number two, something you might think they would miss, but they remember to include is having multiple profiles, just like any other streaming platform, so your recommendations don't get mixed up with someone else. Number one, Google Assistant. Now, Google Assistant is the best assistant out of them all. As you can tell from all the various YouTube tests you might have seen, Google always comes out victorious. And that's because it's the smartest, so you can answer all those random questions you might have. But not just that, Google Assistant on the Google TV allows you to then use it to control the entire system. So you could open up YouTube, tell it to search for me, and then subscribe. If you enjoyed that video, consider leaving a like. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.